My truck, my trailer, not my truck. Also not my trailer. I worked 17 hours last night. I got home at like 11 p.m. Slept a couple hours. It's like quarter after seven and we're on the road to Pittsburgh. What's up guys? Welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. My name is Bailey. As you can already tell by the title of the video, I did get my very first CNC machine. Before we get too far into the video, our friends at Super Clean helped us out. This thing is used, so it does need cleaned up a little bit. It's pretty filthy, but Super Clean has us covered. They sent us all sorts of stuff in a care package. So thank you to Super Clean. We're just gonna get right into it. It is a 2010 Haas Super Mini Mill 2. I wasn't kidding. It's used. It's kind of filthy. 2010, they still had the tool changer up there. That is a 24 pocket. Yeah, 24 pocket tool changer. I think the new ones only hold 20, but they have like the carousel style down inside the machine. I'm sure that's an option to get more tool slots, but I wasn't buying a new machine. I got a hell of a deal on this from one of my friends, and there's another part of it that I didn't even pick up yet. If you've been watching the videos, at least for the last couple months, I've kind of been teasing a new business venture that I'm starting to get into. And uh, yeah, here it is. I'm going to be building motorsports parts and all sorts of other cool things. Pit bike parts, drift car parts, you name it. If I can fit it in the machine, I will make it. And I have fit all sorts of sketchy stuff that's too big for all sorts of different machines into the machine to make it happen in the last eight years that I've been doing this now. <laughs> the whole way I fell into this thing is I was telling my friend that sold this to me that I was looking at purchasing a water jet and he goes, I can save you a whole bunch of money. I'll sell you something different. And um, I actually have a fair amount of experience with the Haas Control and running machines. The company that I worked for when I lived in Pittsburgh, I worked there for four years. They had all Haas equipment at that time. I went to Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They only had a few Haas machines when I was there. They have since grown grown massively and they have a whole new building that's all dedicated to the machine shop program. It is a Gene Haas learning laboratory or whatever they get for that naming rights grant but Haas writes all sorts of checks to these institutions to help grow what up until about 10 years ago was a dying trade. They have all sorts of cool stuff in there. I'm not positive, but I think Thaddeus Stevens is still only open to residents of Pennsylvania, but there are all sorts of trade schools out there and you don't have to go get a four year degree. I started work at 6 a.m. yesterday. I worked until 11 p.m., so that's 17 hours. I came home. I slept for a few hours. Ron and I woke up. We took this borrowed aluminum deck over trailer. We took these borrowed chains and binders. We grabbed some four by fours and we got in the Duramax and we drove straight to Pittsburgh. Loaded this up, hit the Flight 93 Memorial on the way home and came home. So I'm running on caffeine and bad words right now, but it's all in the name of personal growth. Spades Industrial is on the way with the tow motor to help me get this thing off the trailer. Dalton and I tarped it the other night because it did have to sit outside overnight. Y'all should have seen that because I had a ladder on the trailer. I was standing on top of the mill at one point. I damn near fell trying to get back to the ladder. So if you work for OSHA, no you don't. I love doing sketchy shit with the boys. Once this is inside there, I am no longer stressed about anything. Phase converters here. I ordered that on a Saturday morning, confirmed shipping on Tuesday afternoon, and it was here by Thursday, so that's sick. Air compressor, however, was not that easy. I got this 80 gallon Ingersoll Rand. I was going to order it through Tractor Supply. I showed up to Tractor Supply, they had it, but I had driven the car instead of the truck because I didn't intend on buying a compressor that day. I bought it. I told them I'd be back for it. So then a few days later when I went to pick it up, they had sold it out from under me. You'll have that on these big jobs. So no big deal. They ordered me another one in and I ended up with 15% off because of it. So that was cool. This machine did have a robot on it at one point. So that's what this pneumatic door is. And uh, I'm going to take that off and plate it because I don't have a robot. Pallet jack lifted it, moved it to there. I need to get it under power so I can level it in. But it's out of the way. Ron can park his truck in the garage again. All right, I'm gonna run up to the shop real quick and we're gonna give you guys an update on what's going on with the mill. You guys may recognize that and that. One of them is the cracked head that came out of the uh, E36 when I bought it. The other one's one that I bought from Scott that ended up being cracked. And then the second one that Scott had was also cracked, so that makes three. And then the one that Julian had for me was also cracked, so that's four. I have a fifth one now, and the fifth one's good. At some point this year, there's gonna be an upcoming video of us 
rebuilding that M50 that I took apart like uh, going on three years ago at this point. So stay tuned for that if you like M50s. I like M50s, that's God's motor. And uh, shout out Shane, cause uh, I have a third one on the way that that's gonna be another video. I'm just not gonna talk, but shout out Shane. I had dinner with him last night and ended up getting an M50 out of him, so. Thanks, Shane. But anyway, there she is in all of her American-made, tiny, fast, 10,000 RPM glory. There she is. This video has been such a roller coaster. I agreed to buy this machine in June of 2021. I picked it up in March of 2022. As we sit, it is February of 2023. I got it wired in and up and running back in December of 22. I don't have it turned on right now but I added two 5,000 lumen LED lights inside of it because the OEM little like curly Q bulb doesn't throw off a lot of light. So when the second one's on, it's super bright in here, as you can imagine. These are just two cheap eBay vices. They, uh, not great. <laughs> Don't recommend. Um, spend the money, buy the Kurtz. They're like 600 bucks a piece. These were like 110 bucks a piece and, uh, I had to pull them apart, skim the beds, skim all sorts of stuff to get them to be parallel and flat. It works. In the long run, just spend the money and buy the properly US made vices. I just ran up to the shop to bring this red toolbox up here. So I figured while I'm here alone and it's quiet, I would show what's going on with the Haas. I bought it to make race car parts for myself and my friends. I started the LLC, Pizza Boy Metalworks, planned on doing motorsports parts on the side. The power company wanted a whole bunch of money and me to jump through a whole bunch of hoops to get another service run to my shop so I'd have enough amperage to be able to operate this. It was just a whole nightmare. Not to mention, I didn't want to have to deal with the local government, the borough, to um, get zoned properly and i didn't want any of the neighbors complaining or reporting me it'd be one thing if i was just making parts for myself you just tell them Shh, can't do nothing but um that's not always the case you don't always get so lucky so talked with the owner of the company that i work for discussed it and he said yeah just bring it up here so we sent the truck we rented a tow motor we picked it up brought it up here it's wired in it works. Little teaser for the next video. This is a prototype. This is the rough draft of uh, some parts that I'm working on that you'll see on the channel. I mentioned that I was going to try to make my own e-brake handles for the drift car and they'll be on the website at some point this year. I promise. That's the first draft. So this is actually cut for handles. This is something else. It's not for me. Those are other parts, but I got to clean some of this stuff up. We're going to have a busy week ahead of us. It looks like anything else. When I get into something, you guys have seen my shop at home all the time when I'm working on cars, there's tools everywhere and we clean it up. Doesn't take too long. Organization is key. This thing has been great so far. The only things I've had to do, I had to replace an air solenoid in the side mount tool changer. Everything can be clean cleaned up a little better, I know, but I had to replace a solenoid in there that was losing pressure because it was sticking open and then it would lose pressure changing tools. And then we had to replace the batteries in the panel to keep the settings and parameters. And of course I didn't make a backup in time. So it lost all the settings and parameters when I turned it on the one day. Haas customer service is amazing, immaculate. They are great. They actually, once I changed the batteries, they talked me through it on the phone, how to recover it. And it didn't cost me anything. So shout out Haas. Some of the best customer service I've ever dealt with. I'm having one other issue now. This is the side mount tool changer. I have it pulled apart, but this like worm gear right here, that's all covered in grease. The motor that drives that for whatever reason, it's like skipping teeth and it sounds real great. I'll insert a clip right here. So that's my next thing that I need to tackle. Um, if you guys have any ideas on that, please shoot me a message on Instagram or drop me an email. We're gonna try and solve that sooner than later because it still works, but if it has to rotate this further than a couple tools, it definitely hangs up and then you gotta recover the whole turret and let it figure out where it's at. This thing is the best toy that I have ever purchased myself. I'm having so much fun. I'm a big master cam guy. What I learned when I was in school, I'm learning Fusion 360 now. It's a lot cheaper. If you're trying to get in and get started, get Fusion 360 from Autodesk, it's like 400 bucks a year. Fusion 360 has been super simple to learn so far. I 
have a lot of experience with Inventor, so it's pretty similar to that. All the Autodesk software, super user friendly. Having a good time with that learning curve and making it spit out programs and it's working so far. I'm just gonna ramble at this point, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There is so much more content to come. We're gonna be drifting a lot this year. I'm gonna be doing a lot of manufacturing and CNC videos at Horsepower Pizza on all platforms. TikTok, running it up right now. We just hit 15,000 on there, so thank you so much for that. We're getting ready to hit 1,300 here on YouTube, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. If you would like to support, head over to www.horsepowerandpizza.com at Pizza Boy Metalworks on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Build it for you.